Today's video, I'm making a Barbie cake. Well, a letter B. And we're gonna be using ganache rather than fondant for this one. Apart from the white, we've, we've got a bit of fondant on the white. But all the pink is ganache. And I think it looks fab. <laughs> it tastes fab. <laughs> to celebrate the launch of the Barbie film, we're gonna be offering 10% off all our products in our shop for the next month. Keep an eye out in the video for the discount code. So I'm just using a sheet of cake. I bought this one, guys. I didn't bake it. I know I keep saying that a lot in my recent videos. I haven't done much baking for a while. So I'm just gonna cut the letter B shape out. So I printed a picture of the letter B to the size that I wanted. I couldn't quite fit it on the paper very well. I kind of had to stick white paper. Can you see to make it a little bit bigger, the B for the curves? But we're gonna just cover it in ganache. So I'm just going to add a bit of pink food coloring to my white chocolate ganache. And it's just white chocolate and, and cream in the white chocolate ganache. If I remember, I will put a uh, recipe below the video for making ganache. So yeah, I'm just using the Pro Gels, but I'll link everything that I use underneath. Now, the idea is that this one's gonna stand up. So you're probably thinking, why is she just smoothing that straight onto like a cutting mat? So this is like one of my Ikea cutting mats that I'm using and I've just put the ganache on there. It's probably not bright enough pink. So I think when we next do some, we'll go a little bit brighter. Also want some pink buttercream. So we're gonna put the same food color into some buttercream too. Just cause I prefer buttercream sandwiched between the layers of cake rather than the ganache. We cut out two of those letter Bs. Uh, my sheet of cake wasn't quite big enough to do them as full pieces. So they're kind of like, little bits of pieces cut out together and put on to make that B shape. And then I'm covering the whole thing in a layer of chocolate ganache. So the chocolate ganache is on the outside, not in the middle. Just sometimes I find it can dry my cake a little bit. So we're just keeping it on the outside, buttercream in the middle. I'm scraping it down. The buttercream on the outside should make it a little bit stronger. So the plan is to stand this up when it's finished. However, it's really hot weather. So I guess we'll see. Okay, so first layer is on. I put it in the fridge for 10 minutes. I know you can still see through to some of my cake, so we'll have to patch that up. So I've gone over with a second layer. You can see the ganache this time is a little bit brighter. So I've just added a bit more food color to it to get it that little bit brighter. I actually found it really hard to ganache this shape and to smooth it out. I kept having to put another layer on and go over and over it because I just couldn't get it quite as smooth as what I wanted. So I moved on to using some flexible scrapers because I thought that would be a little bit easier than just using my palette knife. And I didn't iron my top. I actually don't own an iron and I realized now I should have ironed it for this video. So at this stage, I've put about my third layer of chocolate ganache on and I'm using quite a large metal scraper to try and smooth it off as much as possible on the top. I'm actually using my fingers as well to try and smooth some of the edges down a little bit. Obviously you can wear gloves for this, but just make sure you have got clean hands. Uh, this cake isn't going to anybody, so oh, nobody that's not a family member anyway. So <laughs> yeah, I didn't put gloves on. Like I say, you can if you're making it for somebody. Okay, so for the B, I cut out the middle of the template and it's just some white fondant. I say white, actually I put a tiny, tiny bit of pink in it. So it's actually really pale pink, but I don't know if you can see. And I kind of traced around the edge of it with a Dresden tool. And then I'm using some colored powder dust to kind of go in the edge. So you can see there's like an indentation where I kind of went around it with that Dresden tool. So it's not cut to the B shape at the moment. It's just kind of got a dip around the edges, which is just gonna help me kind of add the powder so I can create a little bit of shading. Mine's probably a little bit too pink compared to the picture, but hopefully it'll look okay when we're finished. So it's keeping it a bit darker around the edges, making sure it still stays pretty light in the middle. And then I'm gonna paint some white highlights on as well. So I'm just using white edible powder dust. Again, I'll put links below to which ones I've used. And I've just mixed these with water. So usually I mix them with like clear alcohol, but the white one doesn't always mix overly well for me. So I've, I've mixed it with water, but you can still see it's a little bit clumpy, the white one today for me. It's fine. It, it's been cracking a little bit where it dried the white powder, but it will be okay for this cake, for me anyway. <laughs> so I'm trying to look at an image of the Barbie letter B so I know whereabouts to put the highlights. Uh, mine still haven't ended up in the same place, but close enough. And then I've just used a knife to cut all the way around the edge. It does help that I've got that indentation in there. It almost kind of forces my knife to follow that line along, for the most part anyway. <laughs> And I found it easier to do it this way. So the cutting kind of the letter B at the end, just because I thought if I cut it to the right shape and then I start doing all the dusting with the powders, I might sort of 
distort the letter B a bit. So that's why I did it that way around. I'm just putting a little bit of black powder on the very, very edge, just so it's a little bit darker there. And then I'm going to mark on using that paper template again. I'm going to just lightly mark on the ganached cake. And then you can use like some piping gel or you can just use water if you want. You could even use some melted ganache, but I thought if I stick the letter B, the white B on wrong and I've got the chocolate ganache underneath and then I start moving it around, it, it could get quite messy. So just some piping gel will work quite well. And then let's put some white highlights on the pink. So the powder's painted onto the pink ganache absolutely fine. Now I did plan on making quite a few different Barbie cakes for you guys. I'm halfway through another two different cakes, so hopefully I'll get those finished. This one I did first because I thought it might be the easiest one, a fairly simple one. Are any of you guys going to see the Barbie movie? I'm hoping to go see it this weekend that it's out. I'm actually quite excited about the Barbie movie and I'm not even really a huge Barbie fan. Dolls kind of freak me out a bit. Barbie freaks me out less than other dolls. Porcelain dolls especially do freak me out a lot. I find them quite scary. Um, but I am still looking forward to going to see the Barbie movie. I did actually do a Facebook Live over on my Facebook page the other day, guys, where I tried to use my molds to make um, a Barbie face with. So what I might do is put that one here on YouTube as well. So keep an eye out for that video. Okay, let's, uh, let's cut into it. Probably want to put it so you guys can't see where I shoved my finger in it by accident. Normally the ganache would have set like really hard. Like it is firm because it's so warm in here. Like I could still easily put my finger through that. Okay, let's, uh, let's cut into it. Okay, okay, okay. Ooh, it stood up. Obviously it would look nicer if I hadn't cut the pieces out and then taken a bite out of the piece. You guys get the idea, don't you? So it has stood up. And then obviously I've half eaten a piece. Should I try and do more videos where we kind of colour ganache or just use ganache or even buttercream rather than a fondant. I can't do it for everything because it depends what we're making, but would you like to see more with just ganache and fondant? 